Hello, I'm Paul Dolinar. Larry Brandt Hoover and I are the Senior Science and Technology Advisors to the Tactical Aircraft Program Executive Office, also known as PEOT. Rear Admiral John Lemon is the Program Executive Officer. PEOT is comprised of 12 Acquisition Program Offices, or PMAs. PMA 205 is the Aviation Training Systems Program Office and is responsible for acquisition and life cycle management of training systems, including flight simulators, part task trainers, maintenance trainers, and associated training curricula to ensure optimum performance for naval aviation. PMA 209 is the Air Combat Electronics Program Office, responsible for providing critical capabilities to the warfighter in the form of common, fully developed, supportable, and reliable systems that align with the strategic and operational requirements of Naval Aviation Platform, PEO, and PMA customers. This includes communication and mission systems, airspace integration, navigation and safety systems, and avionics architectures. PMA 213 is the Naval Air Traffic Management Systems Program Office in the Naval Aviation Enterprises Program Office for all Navy and Marine Corps air traffic management systems. The PMA is responsible for maintaining Naval Air Traffic Management Systems for our warfighters today with delivery of advanced air traffic control and landing capability in the future. PMA 226 is the Specialized and Proven Aircraft Program Office acquires and provides full life cycle readiness for specialized and proven aircraft and provides contracted air services in support of the Naval Aviation Enterprise and our international customers. This office provides life cycle, cradle to grave management of legacy and out of inventory aircraft and engines, including adversary and training aircraft. PMA 230 is the next generation air dominance program office. The NGAD family of systems capabilities will provide advanced carrier-based power projection capabilities and maintain CVN relevance in demanding and complex threat environments. PMA-231 is responsible for providing the E-2C Hawkeye, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, Hawkeye 2000, and the C-2A Greyhound fleet. PMA-234 is the Airborne Electronic Attack Program Office, responsible for airborne electronic attack systems. This office includes the next-gen jammer. PMA-251 is the Aircraft Launch and Recovery Equipment Program Office, providing life cycle acquisition management for Navy and Marine Corps systems and equipment utilized for the launch and recovery of current and future fixed and rotary wing aircraft. PMA-257 is AV-8B Weapon Systems Program Office, responsible for the AV-8B Harrier Weapon Systems for the U.S. Marine Corps and its allied partners including Spain and Italy. PMA-265 is responsible for acquiring, delivering, and sustaining the F-18 Hornet, Super Hornet, and Growler aircraft. The PMA supports foreign military sales to Australia, Canada, Finland, Kuwait, Malaysia, Spain, and Switzerland. PMA-272 is NAVAIR's Advanced Tactical Aircraft Protection Systems Program Office that manages strike aircraft survivability equipment. PMA-273 is the Naval Undergraduate Flight Training Systems Program Office, chartered to develop Naval Flight Training System, where student pilots and undergraduate military flight officers acquire mission-critical aviation skills necessary to carry out current and future missions of the United States Navy. PEOT is pursuing the following technology areas. Manned and unmanned teaming technologies. Artificial intelligence and autonomy to support sensor data integration and decision making. Advanced architecture or processing. EW spectrum dominance. Airborne directed energy weapon systems. Aircraft survivability. Advanced feature and target classification techniques. Advances in live virtual constructive training. Decision aids, situational awareness tools, and smart controls to inform or improve maintenance and operations. Interested companies should have a clear understanding of the acquisition program's technical requirements and be able to clearly communicate the cost benefit of their technology. I communicate daily with the S&T leads in each of the program offices to identify their technology gaps. Please use Larry or myself as your point of contact for PEOT.